What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Julian Ehab with another video review today. Again, I'm bugging you guys. I know that and I apologize, but I can't get enough of you. Today, I feel it's going to be a great day. I feel happy. Just woke up and it's hot and it's just beautiful. And I'm excited about today's fragrance because I personally love it so much. It's one of the best that I personally enjoy. It's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And I just want to share that with you guys. And um, I think I'm just going to be exclusive this time on YouTube because I've never seen anybody else reviewing this. So uh, I'm a little excited and nervous at the same time. So um, today's uh, review is not going to be rather than... Uh, Majda Bekali, j'ai fait un rêve. There you go, I have a decan of it. I used a lot of it already. It's just beautiful. And what, that, that, what does that describe exactly? It just... Um, saffron in a bottle. And if you guys are not familiar with saffron, it's... Um, it's a spice that it is very, very expensive. It's more expensive than gold sometimes. And um, it is more, <laughs> in fact, it is more expensive than gold. And uh, I got the privilege of being from Morocco. And we do cook with that specific spice a lot there. And um, I do, when I cook, I do cook with it like a lot of times, like most of the time. So um, here's the spice. I got, I get it from Trader Joe's. It's just like I don't know, like seven, six ninety nine, seven dollars or something. I'm not sure. It's like, looks like hair, and the color it's a really, really dark, kind of like burgundy or like red ish in a way. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. So. Um, that's all right that's how it looks like and um yeah oh it is j'ai fait un rêve it is majda bakali honestly you can just add some sweetness to it and a little bit of spices and this and that and some jasmine and you get that and um yeah so I love this fragrance. I'm in love with it. Um, it was a total... It's not a blind bite because it's just a decant, but uh, I was surprised. I, I love um, Fusion Sacré. It's one of my favorite, and I, I do own a bottle of it. And, um, and then I wanted to discover more of that house, Majda Bekali, because she... I, I know she's French, but she's got a Moroccan name, so uh, I'm just guessing she, she, she's like originally from Morocco or something, so I don't know, so I was like, hey, you know what, I just want to like discover some more of that uh, house, and I got my hand on this, and uh, I was uh, surprised, I thought, uh, no, like nothing would... Uh, Move Fusion Sacré from top spot. That one, almost there, guys. One thing, one main factor that I personally think uh, w couldn't make it on top spot on Majda Bekali, so far what I tried, is the performance. Yes. And I love performance. I love Beast Mode. I love to be noticed. Attention, I guess nothing wrong with that. Anyway, um, if that one projects a little bit more, that, would, that was going to be one of my favorite fragrances ever. It's just a little bit on the lighter side. It, la it, it lasts not bad. I would say six hours or seven, nah, I mean like six hours, five, six hours, you know, it depends, you know, the most I got 
out of it, I would say like maybe six hours. And uh, it projects really well, I would say like for an hour or less than two hours. Then it gets really close to the skin, really close to the skin. And that is a problem for me because um, I want people to smell this on me because it smells fantastic, you know? It's a little bit, it's not, for, for people who doesn't really, doesn't really like Fusion Sacré because it's just too cloying sweet and um, some people said it just hurts their teeth because it's just <coughs> too sweet. Um, this one, it is a bit similar in a way. It's not that similar, but it's, it's, there's, a lot, there's some similarities, you know. They share the same DNA. But, not that sweet. It's, uh, it's got enough sweetness into it that you can call it a dark. Or semi-dark fragrance. Or like sweet, semi-dark, sexy fragrance. Yes, semi-sweet, dark, sexy fragrance. This stuff is sexy, guys. This stuff is really, really, really good really sexy I feel like a million bucks maybe two millions anyway um, and saffron saffron guys the main factor and the black pepper it's a spicy fragrance so if you like your spice get yourself much the Kali. yeah and jasmine absolute Egyptian jasmine absolute it gives it a little bit of a floral jasmine, you know the floral jasmine effect, just a teeny tiny hint of jasmine, which is, in my opinion, perfect. It's not feminine. People, like, think that jasmine, it's feminine. A lot of people, and I, some, I, I can see that, like, long time ago, I, like, really related jasmine to girls, girl fragrances, but I love jasmine this one doesn't have a lot of jasmine though <laughs> you can barely detect it guys you can barely detect it but it's like super concentrated and it just gives it this floral tiny bit of floral effect into it and with some vanillas that just gives it like some like sweet that's some sweetness and it's just perfect and with the black pepper and the saffron and I do love my saffrons and for for people who doesn't know saffron tend to be so leathery so uh, uh, like fragrant houses they use saffron as an alternative to the leather nuts a lot so uh, this is leathery for people who loves their leather or like saffron it smells leathery guys so it is pretty leathery and um what else what else what else yes so I love this one guys I just want you to check it out and just just get a sample of it for people like who hates Fusion Sacré, give it another try with J'ai fait un rêve. J'ai fait un rêve. Totally worth it, guys. Performance issues. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I tend to have, unfortunately, a bad skin, so things don't really last on me that much. But, uh, for, because most of the... Uh, people and most of the fragrances that last on me like, like two three four five hours for some other people last on them like 12 plus hours which is I was like dude I'm jealous so I was like I love this fragrance and I wish if it lasted on me longer so um don't take my word on the performa per performance because um it's each 
but his skin is different. So you need to check it out yourself and see what can you get out of it. So is this a bottle worthy for me? You know, like my goal from this journey to like rate fragrances to bottle worthy, like it can wait, it pass, uh, probably not, or um, like taste it some more. This one, if it wasn't for the poor performance on me, and I love my performance, guys, I love my performance, it would have been a definite, definite bottle worthy. It was just gonna be like, boom, bam, right away, it bottle worthy. I'm just gonna get it. You know, no way. And But because of that factor, I would probably make it the second top level as a bottle worthy on hold. Yes, it is a bottle worthy on hold for me. And um, only for that reason. If it wasn't for the performance on me, it would be definitely a bottle worthy, guys. Um, uh, I was so excited about this. It's not a full review yet. It's just a an excitement review. I just woke up this morning and I'm feeling great. It is freaking hot outside. You have no idea how Santa Ana when affects me. Because uh, it's, it's spring and it's Santa Ana and I'm a little allergic so I just kind of like don't feel as great but nothing would hold me what if while I'm talking to you guys and I'm having my Majda Bakali. Yes, this, that, this is my juice. This is my juice guys, that what makes me happy and that what makes me feeling great. I'm excited about it guys and I'm really excited to share it with you and please rate, comment and subscribe and I promise you there will be more juices, good juices, exclusive juices to come and I'm still working on my Battle of the Guerlains, La Réla Matière collection to be exact because I love this house and I'm really excited about this video and just want to make it right because it is it deserves it besides that um uh, I don't know I'm still new on YouTube videos uploads and this and uh but I posted like a quick video I call it a quickie right before I went to gym yesterday and I it's still uploading for some reason. It was only like, I don't know, like 9, 10 minutes. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I thought I have a decent internet over here at my house. But um, it's going to take it like longer than I expected. Like since 8 yesterday and today it's, what, now it's like 10. And... Uh, it hasn't fully uploaded yet so uh, for all the reviewers out there please let me know if you guys have some issues with uploading to YouTube and uh, what should I do if and if should I change my internet uh, uh, you know company or this this and that please I'm I'm a virgin when it comes to this matter so I need some uh, information and I, I need your help guys so uh, thank you again for watching my video it's a pleasure and to meet you guys and to finally talk to you guys face well not face to face face to a computer but you know you get my point right so um, uh, well I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!